our visiting heads of state and government, heads of delegations, fellow Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen, before I give my tribute, I would like at the very onset, on behalf of the people of Kenya, to thank our visitors who have traveled from various parts of our continent and the world to join us in mourning, but also in celebration of the life of one of Kenya's greatest statesmen. So before I give my tribute, I would like on behalf of everybody else to invite three of our visitors and I would like to begin by inviting His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa. Welcome, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, and the First Lady, Your Excellency, Deputy President William Ruto, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, heads of states who are here present, as well as those who are representing a number of countries that are represented here. The leadership of the clergy and various leaders of other organizations that are here, your excellencies, ambassadors and high commissioners, as well as the leadership of the armed forces of Kenya, and fellow mourners and fellow Kenyans. As South Africa, and indeed as the Southern African Development Community, we were saddened to hear of the passing of President Mwai Kibaki. The news of his passing touched our hearts, and our hearts and condolences were extended to you as Kenyans. We are here to extend and pay respects and our condolences to all of you as Kenyans and especially to President Uhuru Kenyatta and indeed as well as the Kibaki family. We feel the pain and anguish that you are all going through but at the same time, we also believe that you are all collectively here to celebrate a life of a great statesman. And we wish you strength as you go through this moment, but we also wish that you could remember President Kibaki for what he stood for and for what he did for this great nation. My presence here is also to come and comfort my brother, President Uhuru Kenyatta, and also to say that the relations between South Africa and Kenya continue to be strengthened in moments of celebration and in moments of sadness. And I want to thank you, President, for having extended your own condolences to us as South Africans 
as we recently lost more than 435 people in the floods that engulfed our country. We wish to join you as Kenyans as you remember your dear and beloved departed president. We remember President Kibaki for the leadership that he demonstrated, not only to Kenya, but also to the African continent. We remember him for his commitment to the people of Kenya and indeed to all of us as Africans. But we especially remember him for his leadership in your Her Excellency,